Love you. Love you. Have a safe trip. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Hey guys, as you just saw that my mom left, she was with me for like three weeks and I live alone, you know, I like living alone, I like having my own space, you know, autonomy, all of that stuff, it's, it's awesome because you, you kind of just get in tune with yourself, you're pretty much like dating yourself, you know, figuring out the things that make you tick, figuring out the things that make you thrive and you know some of the things that you could really just let go of and other things that you you might realize that you actually do like or need in some sense it was crazy because when she was leaving i'm like yo i really don't want her to leave you know i really loved having her there and i'm i'm realizing now that like a lot of the times when i felt some type of way is because i was kind of just battling loneliness and didn't really want to admit it so I thought I'd make a video to really talk about um, loneliness or, you know, the, f the feeling of being alone or, so, you know, stuff like that. And I think that we all go through it. You know, I'm a, a believer in Jesus Christ and I live alone and I, I, you know, there's some moments and there's some seasons of loneliness. And sometimes it hits you harder than others. Like right now it's really hitting me because my mom just left and just having her there. You know, just, it was nice, you know, it was amazing and for the simple fact that I don't see her very often or my sister, you know, a lot of my family members, all of, pretty much all of my family members are still in Jamaica, so it was just, it was just um, so good, it was a blessing to just have my mom there for just under a month and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I battle with loneliness um, sometimes and it hit me the moment she like walked away and went into the airport it literally hit me I feel like in those moments we really just have to lean into God if you don't believe in God then you definitely you know need some sort of community you need people around you that can fill you up in other ways but I'm telling you nothing can nothing can really fill you and nothing can really like fill a gaping hole sorry if you hear boys screaming they're playing basketball nothing can really fill a gaping hole like the love of Jesus can and I'm realizing now that like loneliness it really is like it really is like a mind like a state of mind In those moments where you just feel like no one sees you and no one has you and no one remembers you and no one knows you and no one knows who you are ah! Jesus and no one knows you and no one knows who you are like God knows you he knows every hair he knows every single hair on your head he knew you before your mother knew you he knew you before you were in your mom's womb you know so it's like is either you believe that to be true and you can lean into that or you don't and that's what I'm noticing is like is either I can believe that God has me and God is for me and if he's for me then nothing and no one can be against me even even the spirit of loneliness even loneliness it can't be against me if God is for me so that's why I said like loneliness really is a state of mind like you really just have to really lean into God you know you have to call people up like you can't just wait for people to reach out to you reach out to people talk to them tell them that you're feeling some type of way or you're experiencing some sort of loneliness um, you know because sometimes people really don't people people always call me like the strong friend you know and a lot of times they really don't know what it is that you're going through because you don't talk about it you don't say it out of your mouth and the suffering silence thing is just just we have to leave that in 2022 you know what I'm saying like there's no more suffering in silence we can't do that anymore um, we really just need to speak and there are people that literally care and they can't read our minds they can't know what's going on with us you know we can't expect them to know we can't unless we say something some people you know they you talk to them and they can hear it in your voice or just just sense it you know but other times it's like they wish they just don't know so yeah man i if you battle with loneliness i know it's hard 
I know sometimes it feels like there is no end in sight and if you're believing God for a spouse or you're believing God you know um, for a family and children uh, I know like hope deferred makes the heart grow sick and the only way we cannot make our heart hearts grow sick is is to just really really lean into God and trust that if God said it it that's that's just it that's it he's not a man he's not a regular person he's not he's not a regular human being he's not fickle you know what I'm saying like he's God he is the creator of everything he is the end all be all he is literally the beginning from the end you know what I mean Alpha and Omega like he exists outside of time so you can't put God in a box like we can't so if he says it it just is and I'm believing God for a spouse I'm believing God for a family you know I want children um, I'm 36 and it just seems like that's just nowhere near to be happening but I'm still I still have to believe God in the desire that he's given me because if you ask my friends I never desired to be married never desired to do any of that <laughs> I just wanted kids and that's it <laughs> you know but I desire a spouse I desire a partner to do like kingdom marriage with I desire children to you know grow up in the ways of the Lord so that they can too be kingdom children and kingdom people in, in this world like that that's something that I do desire so it's like thinking about that and then looking at your current situation of you feeling lonely or you being alone it's just like night and day you can't really put the two together like how is how is God gonna do this you know but it's just like you, you either believe it or you don't you know and I think for me the main thing is and I've been a, I've been pretty much on my own since I was 17 going on 18 like I left I left Jamaica at the age of 17 and went away to a university this is my this is my old school called the University of Iowa in Iowa City Iowa that's in like the Midwest so me coming from Jamaica this like a small Caribbean country to Iowa City Iowa yeah like it was a huge jump so I've been on my own since then I've you know technically been independent um, for the greater part of my life um, and just lately I've just been feeling more of the loneliness and I'm realizing that like it is a spirit it is um, a state of mind and I really just need to lean into God and I really need to have people around me that you know uh, that encourage and support me and 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 even though they're not physically around me just knowing that there are people out there that that support you and love you and want the best for you is encouraging you know um, so like yeah I wanted to make this video because I know it's something and I, and I really had to just pray pray about this because I'm like this is so this is letting a lot of people into a part of my life that I really really didn't want to talk about but I'm, I'm guessing that's not what this channel is going to be about like vulnerability is is a pathway to healing and I do and I truly believe that and just talking about it is is healing and it helps and then and I just hope that this video you know helps somebody else who battles with the same thing like Loneliness is a real thing, you know, people really battle with that. From my perspective, it's like, we gotta, we gotta do what we need to do, you know. If you, need, uh, if you need to get therapy, if you need to get therapy. And sometimes you really just have to do things that you love, you know. Find a new hobby, get outside, you know, meet new people. Um, with discernment, of course, because not everybody, you're really supposed to be hanging around, really. Um, you know, develop a new skill, just... I'm not saying keep yourself busy, but in your single season, in your singleness, this is a time to really just literally learn God and learn yourself, you know, uh, heal from trauma, past trauma. Uh, there are so many things and I know it, it, it's tough when you're actually going through it, but like when you, 
you know if you find yourself and you're married now and you have children and there's just a whole bunch of stuff that you really didn't deal with in your singleness it's just like you know what I'm saying you can't enjoy your singleness to the full you can't enjoy your singleness to the fullest if you're you're not doing the work you know it's just like anything else like faith without work is dead like ah! yo what is up with this thing leave me alone you bug <sighs> yeah it's just like anything else you know faith without works is dead like you have to do the work in your single season as much as you have to do your work when you get married like you can't just be single and just not work on anything <laughs> It's gonna be a waste of a single season it's called waiting well and I feel like it would be a waste to not learn who you are not learn you know what makes you take not learn you know you know what I'm saying you're not gonna learn everything before you get married it is beneficial to heal from trauma to learn new skills to learn new hobbies to you know what I'm saying <laughs> yeah it's this is the time if you're single this is the time. You grow a lot in this time. As much as you, you know, I'm pretty sure you grow a lot more in marriage, but you, you grow a lot in your single season. Nothing supersedes um, crying out to God and letting Him fill those parts that feel empty. Nothing supersedes that in my opinion. But therapy does help, you know, having people around you does help, having a community does help. God literally is the end all be all, Jesus. You know, like his word and his promises to us and just his love. Like you can literally do nothing to make God love you any less or any more than he already does. You, you we, like we can't do anything. His love just is, he is love. You can't say that about any person that you know. Their love changes with the things that you do. And your love changes with the things that people do. It's just how we are, we're human. But God is, he, he is love. His love is unmatched. So, yeah, I'm just, this year I really need to just lean into his love and, and really let his love embrace me because that's the only way we're going to get through like moments of loneliness or seasons of loneliness where we feel like we're, we're not seen and nobody knows us or, you know, Nobody understands us. Nobody sees what we're going through. And it's just not true. God does. Jesus does. He knows every single thing that we're going through. And the great thing about it is you can just go to him. You can call his name. He's already there. And talk to him about it. Yeah, this was, <laughs> this was a lot for me. <laughs> this was a lot. I was just hoping that I would not cry. Because... Yeah, I I can't be crying on here. <laughs> I mean, I'm probably gonna be at some point. I probably did a little bit in the beginning, <sighs> but I hope this video helps. And let's just really lean into God this year. Like, let's really get to know Him and and for ourselves too. Like, you have to know Jesus for yourself. You know, we have to read the Word for ourselves. We have to get to know Him for ourselves. We have to cry out to Him for ourselves. Like, that's the only way. That was a load. <laughs> Guys, I love you all and I hope this helped. It definitely helped me just to talk to this camera. I don't know who's gonna be watching on the other end, but I pray that it helps and you know, I pray it brings some sort of comfort to know that you are not alone. You are not alone. God is with you and there are other people that like are feeling the same way. Okay, solidarity, yeah? I pray that this week is blessed. I pray that is fruitful, productive, um, and I love you guys. God bless. Peace. Mm -hmm.